All right, all right, all right. Welcome back down to Bobby Bobby Blaze, Bobby Bobby Ford down there in South Louisiana. Beautiful day today. Again, hot, hot, hot. Uh, not making no knives today. Working on some tooling. Um, told you I was going to show you all the videos that I make and all the stuff I do in the forge. So uh, one thing about making blades is you could get all the canister of Damascus. You can make all the builds you want, and all your time is spent sanding and finishing those blades. Uh, prior to them going into heat treat, you want to get them down to the right thickness because after they come out of heat treat, they're hard as a diamond. So uh, I've been looking at surface grinder videos for uh, my belt sander. It's a 2x72 up to a 2x84 adjustable belt sander. Uh, all the videos I've seen on YouTube, it would cost somewhere around probably close to a thousand dollars to make this thing. Some of the parts were uh, pretty expensive. So uh, I went to Bobby Bobby Blades way and uh, went and got some stuff. So let me show you what I did today. And I'm uh, pretty impressed with the progress. So uh, here's what we got. Uh, I had a piece of square stock. That's going to be the arm. I bought a, uh, oops, I bought a six inch wheel off of Amazon that cost me all of fourteen dollars so I lined it up yesterday to where it's gonna spin good I put spaces and bushings tack welded nut on there so it don't move I ran it for two hours uh, with a belt on it didn't get hot or nothing as you can see it it spins pretty free so the other thing was when you make something like this, you want to be able to move inward as you also have to go up and down. So what I did, uh, all the videos I saw, they had like a $200, $300 piece of uh, equipment. But uh, I found this little uh, machinist vise. Uh, it was a dual access vise. It had uh, the X and Y axis. And what I did is I took the tray off of it. And I took this piece of metal here that I had laying in my metal box and I used my milling machine to mill it down to that thickness, milled a bevel on it, and uh, the set screws hold it right in place. So uh, eventually I'll drill holes in here to mount this platform on and then I'm going to mill down the center of this piece of metal. And I'll put a, a strong piece of metal in there like that. It's not going to be this thick. It's just what I have. And then I will weld this apparatus on there. And what that is, it's it's a super heavy duty door hinge. And that'll give me my up and down. And what's cool about this is if I run this, it gives me my in and that gives me my out. So I can adjust the thickness of how much I'm taking off with every swipe. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty satisfied with how it's going right now. Uh, I'll do some more later this week. Hopefully get this area done tomorrow. Mill that out. Uh, might have to find a piece of plate to fit. Uh, I don't want to have to mill another big piece of plate down like that. Uh, might have to run over to Tangy Supply and get a piece of uh, sheet steel. Um, but I think it's going to work pretty good. It's a work in progress, no doubt. But uh, I think when I'm done, I will have a surface grinder attachment for my uh, belt sander. And the good thing is, with all the milling I did, uh, cleaning up the shop, I saved all the chips, and one day that'll be a canister to match this knife. So, anyway... Uh, that's what we're doing down here. Bobby Bobby Blade, Bobby Bobby Forge. Uh, you know, like I said, making knives is not a, a, a cheap deal. If you want the proper tooling, you're going to pay some, some big money for it. And I figure, you know what? With my background, let me see what I can make. And I think this is going to work out just fine. So listen up. Y'all, uh, get all your friends watching like my videos. Get them to subscribe. Make me famous for 2023. All right, all right, all right.